Let's talk about crypto retirement. Now is the time to invest in your future. We are giving you a chance to obtain a lifetime membership to Token Metrics' AI research platform that puts machine learning together with human analysts. September 10th is the day. Mark it on your calendar. Get involved now while ETH is still reasonably priced. There will be an exclusive alpha group in the Astrobot Discord. That, as you can tell, is only available to Astrobot NFT holders. There will be spectacular airdrops like what we saw in Azuki earlier this year at NFT LA. Get on the white list now join the astrobot society discord and follow at astrobot society on twitter to get the link where you can mint an astrobot society and the astrobot nft collection Am I unmuted? Let me start over. We are live, and this is the Market Update. I'm your host, Bill Noble. This show is brought to you by the Astrobot NFT Collection, TokenMetrics.com, and Astrobot Society. If you need a roadmap in crypto, consider an Astrobot. The Mint is on 910. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel, and we are still trying to get to our goal of 2,000 likes. Now, let's welcome and see who is here on the chat. I know they'll all be shocked. We're on our regular time today. Ali from London, what's up, right? Alicia is here, right? Christian Gill, Ashton, right? MMK56, Noble Capital Management, love that, right? Cincinnati, North Carolina, right? 64 ECG, hi. Eddie P, AAM, the bear is running away. Yes, and we're going to tell you why he's going to stay away for the next 30 days. Augusta, Georgia in the house, Tennessee, SEC country. Daydream, it's good to have you here. Somebody's working in a refinery tuning in. Fuel Man 911. Lawn Shark 423 says he's ready to mint. We want you to mint. We want you to have ETH in your wallet so you can mint. Mint, 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 not investment advice. Matty J, Dana from Jersey with the emojis. Canada, Louisiana, Paris, ETH bag loaded like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, somebody's talking about the health of the queen. Uh, are they, our thoughts are with her, right? I'm ready for the NFT mint. Dude, what's up? Sushi Nori, Estonia is here. France in the house. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Seattle, Washington. Astrobot is a no-brainer. That's it. According to Rugby Performance Lab. Sir, we love you. Thank you. Okay. Pedro, notorious lug from Portugal. Belgium is here. He was watching it 2 a.m. Right? He's Red Bull in it today. All right. Uh, Spain is here. Like in Token Metrics and Zcash. Right on. Privacy. One day, your wealth will be held against you. So think privacy, think art, think ETH. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about it. Baby Whale from Texas is here, right? Don't forget to hit the like button. Crypto Technology says, been here since the beginning. Keep it up. Keep it up, right? Florida, Rome, Vancouver, everybody in the house for the market update. Okay, now. See if I can get the screen sharing right. That's our running joke on the stream. If I can get through without a yellow card. So let's talk about the news. <laughs> let's talk about the news. Okay. So yeah, the merge is not working, right? That's why ENS domains surpass board ape yacht trading volume. Okay, NFT trading platform announces it will not be supporting any forked NFTs that show up after the merge. Okay, the number of unique Board Ape Yacht Club buyers plunged in August to the second lowest on record. Wait, what? People have lost taste for 
high priced status symbols in the middle of a tightening cycle. I'm shocked. This is why we're talking art and stocks are not correlating. You want to value invest in art and get research along with it. When should you do research? I don't know. You should do research when it's sunny. You should do research when it's rainy. You should do research when it's cloudy. You should do research when it's snowy. Get what I'm saying? Do research, right? ENS domains are out there. Ethereum and Web3 are about to take off and everybody in crypto is talking about the Fed, which is funny, right? Because I started talking about crypto and macro once upon a time when I started in crypto with Crypto IQ. And now I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Macro is great. I love talking about it, but now we got to talk about crypto. Last three streams, I'm like, crypto, 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 crypto. Hello, right? Celsius has been insolvent since 2019. Men have be, been behaving badly. Hmm. You know, they love that disaster headline. You know, biggest moment in crypto. And this is what the news we're writing about. Unbelievable. Okay. ARC invests, expands research arm, focusing on blockchain technology. Hopefully they do better at researching crypto and crypto stocks than they did tech stocks. Sorry to make fun of you, but you know, when you hype yourself up and you declare yourself queen of the world and then get smoked. Okay. But you know, everybody does bad trades. Everyone loses money. That's okay. I like the fact that they're turning it around and say, you know what? We made some web two bets. Let's make some web three bets. This is an important lesson, right? Kathy Wood's easy to make fun of, right? She doesn't care. She's rich, but she's easy to make fun of. But there's an important lesson out there for retail traders. If you've done trade and you've lost money, that's okay. You have something in common with Kathy Wood and every great trader in history. The question isn't what happened in the past. The question is, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Okay, Elon Musk and his company get further entangled in Dogecoin lawsuit. You know, we don't we don't dislike meme coins. Actually, we think there are some meme coins that are out there. Okay, we 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 have a little funny that we have on the stream about Luna Inu. Uh, when Luna first collapsed, uh, I said the price was so low it looked like uh, it looked like Luna Inu, and the next thing you know, the Luna Inu meme coin was out. So that's kind of our meme coin joke for the stream. It's amazing how everyone's talking about Elon and Dogecoin and no one's talking about Vitalik and the merge, right? I mean, I think this merge, I think what people are going to get it is, you know, they're going to see, they're going to see a shot of Vitalik standing outside with a giant fist pump going, you know, we did it, right? That when that picture hits the tape, that's when everybody's going to wake up. And I want to get you on board way before that happens. European Central Bank makes the largest ever interest rate hike, no doubt, to keep the euro from going to zero. Okay, so wonderful, wonderful central banks, right? People can't pay their energy bills, okay? And now everyone's credit card interest rates just went up. And everybody's mortgage rates just went up because they should have done these rate hikes a long time ago, and they're just getting around to doing it now, right? Don't you just love central banks. Don't you love them? Right. And you don't have to love them or not love them. But what you do have to do is remember that actions and behaviors like this means, Hey, crypto, crypto, right? Fed chair Jerome Powell says we would not have seen such inflation like this without COVID. Oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like there's always an excuse. There's always a reason. These guys were behind the eight ball. This guy printed six trillion in one month. Did he really have to do that? You know what I'm saying? Did he have to do six trillion in one month? I I don't know. And, and you know what? To be fair, he didn't know who who's seen a global pandemic and 22 million jobs disappear all at once. All I all I know is is that the automatic central bank response to printing money is over. So if there's persistent inflation and these guys have to back off a little bit or at least they have to stop getting medieval. We'll go into that more, whether that even matters or it doesn't matter, right? Like I've been saying, these guys got to calm down because Europe's headed for a depression. This stream, I'm going to flip it around and say, what happens if they don't calm down? What happens if they keep going? What happens if they over tighten? And th there's a shocking answer to that. You ready? Who cares when it comes to the ETH merge? Who cares? Okay, macro will matter in October and November. 
Macro will definitely matter in November, but we got to focus on what matters now. So let's jump into the PowerPoint. Okay. Let's jump into the PowerPoint. Okay. So Astrobot Society, leaving the title as Thunder, right? Thunder. It's time. It's time for the mint. It's time for the launch. It's time for you to get involved, Astrobot Society. Okay, this is my Astrobot, the notorious Astrobot in the corner. The market update, as you understand it, will be for Astrobot holders. There will be special alpha groups. More on that in a second. Okay, we may do pop-up live streams, but if you're hooked on the market update, the market update, uh, we work for a company, we got to eat. So come support us. If you want the market update, come support us, be a token metrics customer or an Astrobot holder. All right, even low end, low, low plan Astrobot holders in that Discord will get that morning market update. Okay, the collection launches September 10th. Okay. If you're available, if you can still get on the white list down there, premint.xyz forward slash Astrobot Society. My understanding is the white list is booked and they're working on the wait list. Okay. As a reminder, there will be something in Discord. There will be a morning meeting. We've been experimenting with this with Twitter spaces. Okay. We're only got about 100 people in it. We've kind of been doing it stealth like. Every morning, we're going to start off with, I don't know, it'll be a mini market update. It'll have support and resistances. It's going to evolve over time. I'll have to put in, I will put in to that update or that little morning meeting, what you'll need for that day, crypto legacy. I'm going to put it all together based on market conditions. So if you want it fast and first and quick, right? Astrobot Society, right? We're talking about an NFT. You can buy a board ape or you can buy an NFT that gives you lifetime access to the platform and all the AI stuff. But, you know, like I said, the weirder the world gets, the more that morning meeting becomes important. Okay. You want to tweet hashtag Astrobot Society on Twitter, right? To try to get whatever whitelist spots they have left. I was told they had 100 left this morning. You also want to follow Astrobot Society on Twitter at Astrobot Society for continued news. Okay, we're about to like really kick in into cycle. I'm doing some spaces this week with some big people. So, you know, you want to get involved. The whitelist sale is 0.35 ETH, the waitlist is 0.4, and the public sale is 0.45 ETH. For the whitelist, I understand it's three. Astrobots you can mint per wallet for the wait list. I understand it's 10 and obviously you can knock yourself out on the public sale. Uh, I want to say a producer can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the mint right for Astrobot starts at, is it noon Eastern? I believe noon Eastern is when the white list mint kicks off for Astrobots. That's the big day. And there's a rumor. Yes, correct. All right. Thank you. And there's a rumor that there might be a live stream that goes on all day during the minting and waitlisting project process. Okay. If you can't mint it or you can't get it on the wait list, the public sale will go on for three days uh, in the event that it doesn't sell out. And I don't even want to think about that because y'all are going to come through for us. Right, whatever does not get sold will get burned. So at the end of three days, the total supply will be whatever has been purchased. Okay, you have a chance to get research and art. Right, you have a chance to get art and research for life. I mean, that's it. I mean, if I could, you know, I've been doing this pitch. I've been saying art and stocks are not correlated. Art and your ability to pay your energy bills in Europe is not correlated. If there's a problem with risk assets at some point, art and research remain. Okay. Now let's talk about the dollar. Okay. The dollar index hit resistance at 110. I think if it just chills out there, it can allow ETH to go higher. And I'm going to do a more radical suggestion. Here's the DXY chart. 
Who cares? Who cares? Okay. Pentagon admits to helping Ukraine forces sink Russian warships. Wow. So the great, the perfect, the perfect solution to Europe not having any natural gas and freezing to death is shooting at the Russians. Okay. Well, you know what? I come from a family of cold warriors. And I guess if you want to fight the Russians, you should just go all in and fight the Russians. Don't fight the Russians half-assed while Europe freezes. Right? This is an American policy error. We're not protecting our European allies with the way we're running this policy. We're just not. Okay, long bond yields. Okay, I went through this story about how long bond yields have reached the point where you know, they were kind of at an extreme in 2018, and that was when crypto bottom. But I have a new take, the new take. It's the same take as the dollar index. Who cares? Who cares? And I'll tell you why. Don't go anywhere. Who cares? Okay, this is ETH. We care. All right. I think if ETH is above 1626 based on hidden pivot analysis, you can get a pop to 1758. We're still in the trading range. Everybody's like, hey, should you take profits at 1758? Okay, my answer is not investment advice. I will tell you what that is, but it's not to take profits at 1758 unless you're like a day trader. We'll discuss an upside price target for ETH later. Just don't go anywhere. Now, I do think based on quant and AI and this, if ETH is above like 1650-ish, that's good. All right, now, whoops. Okay, so here's our quant levels from token metrics. Above 1656, good. Very likely you're going to see 1752 soon. I think the dips to 1566 are over. If there's an idiotic wick down, which you can't, you don't know what's going to happen off the merge. If someone wants to sell me Ethereum at or below the 2017 high, hey, beautiful. That's all I can say, right? That's all I can say. Most likely people don't understand what can happen here on the upside. These are the four levels, and I think people may be overly fixated on these four levels. I'm giving to you for tactical navigation. Now, we have gold bottoming, which means the dollar may be topping at least temporarily. My case for gold is very similar to my case for crypto. If the Fed has to calm down because of what is going on in Europe, the Federal Reserve and the ECB cannot sink your average citizen in Europe. I don't care what the inflation numbers say. People's livelihood is at stake. They can say what they want. They can even hike rates. All they're doing is creating a bigger problem later. And crypto has the ability to look past that. And even if crypto doesn't, I got news for you. Now, here we go. Let's talk ETH price targets. This is an accumulation cone. I've explained this the last three streams. I'll explain it again because I have a couple new twists. Jesse Livermore was is a famous was a famous trader from the earliest 20th century, almost like the first technical analysis textbook in his hand drawn journal. He identified something called an accumulation cone, where a market would go sideways in kind of a cone shape, and that would proceed a parabolic. Now, prior to this, you would be like, okay, Bill, well, the ETH merge is coming up and, you know, you're a moon boy. Okay, yeah, I am an ETH moon boy, but now I have something to add to that. I watched a video today with Arthur Hayes. You want to know what Arthur Hayes said? I don't care about macro. I don't care about bonds. I don't care about interest rates. I don't care about the dollar. Here's the fact of the matter. ETH is a currency of culture. Every DeFi application, the future of money, the future of finance, the future of everything is running on ETH. And the supply of ETH is about to get dramatically reduced. And that's not a one-off. That's going to be an ongoing thing. And ETH is not some shit coin. It's the number, it's the number two cryptocurrency. So we've never seen a, 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 an, an actual, right, um, an actual uh, supply reduction in something as big as ETH. And he said that there are a lot of smart money people betting on ETH at 3,000. They're buying call options at 3,000. And if that's the case, they think ETH can go higher than 3,000. Okay. Uh, now, in a brief note, uh, I just received word that uh, Queen Elizabeth has passed away at the age of 96. 
Okay, so my my grandmother was from uh, emigrated to the United States from Manchester. So I'm actually going to remove my hat and we're going to have 10 seconds of silence for the queen. All right. You know, one thing about Queen Elizabeth that you got to remember is that I know this is a little bit biased, but. You know, who are the good guys in the world, right? I think it's the Americans and the English, the United Kingdom, right? Not just the English, but the Irish, the Scots, everybody, okay? <clears throat> We're the good guys. And we got to stand up to everybody out there who wants to hurt, you know, democracies and people who want to live their lives. So maybe Queen Elizabeth's passing will be a rally cry to stand up to Putin so Europe doesn't freeze. All right. But, you know, long live the queen. All right. Back to Ethereum. The supply is going to be reduced. Okay. The amount of ETH, the amount of supply of Web3 is going to be limited. Okay. So interest rates may go up or down. The dollar could go up or down. The fact of the matter is nobody is focusing on the fact that the supply of ETH is going to shrink. And this is not priced in at all, like at all. So here we have something from the 20th century, from the 1900s, relevant to today, where the supply of the Web3 highway is reduced. And people are telling me that this can't go up. People are telling me it's priced in. It's bunk. If anything, when it comes to AstroBots, like the commercial said, you got a shot at getting ETH in your wallet, okay, while ETH is reasonably priced, okay? It's not investment advice, but the fact of the matter is, if something is, it just stands to reason that if something is trading at 0.3 or 0.4 ETH, that it's better to buy that thing, whatever it is, when ETH is at 1600 than when ETH is at 3000 I mean, what are you going to feel like if ETH goes to 3000 and you said, I'll wait to buy an AstroBot later? Now, if you're one of these people, I get it, who are like scrimping and saving, and you're trying to collect the money to get the AstroBot, well, good for you, and we appreciate you sincerely. Okay, so if you got to wait, you got to wait. But if you don't have to wait, you know, don't don't say we didn't tell you because Arthur Hayes is out there telling people today. And God knows I have been pounding the table on this. Pounding the table. OK, total crypto market cap minus ETH, a redraw from last night. Technical analyst prerogative. I'm seeing a five wave structure here. It looks like the three wave was the July, August rally in ETH and relevant altcoins. Total two is total crypto market cap minus Bitcoin. Lo and behold, okay, total two recently hit the 62% retracement of that three wave up, setting up a five wave. And what happens in five waves? Well, they're very emotional. Three waves are good, gradual, steady trends. And five waves is just FOMO, right? Five waves, this is a five wave, right? Five waves just. I missed it. Oh my God. The institutions are buying retail, just going. And then, and then you know what it's going to be. Then it's going to be, Oh, it's too high. I can't buy it. I can just hear it now. It's like, okay. Yeah. The merge happened. I'll buy the dip. There's going to be any dip. This is the dip. Okay. When you have a five wave, it just goes. So it's not investment advice, but what I'm saying is, you know, I can be wrong. Anybody can be wrong. But the fact of the matter is if this thing gets going, you could have just this absolute freight train. In other words, ETH could be like repriced. It's like, oh, gee, we were too busy at looking at the dollar to remember Web3. What's Web3? Well, I would say ETH and Polkadot. Everyone says, oh, Web3 is whatever. Web3 is ETH and Polkadot. Okay. Now, <laughs> just in case I haven't made my point, I found this today. Okay. This is Web2. Right. This is Facebook moving things around, supposedly at the request of the FBI, uh, limiting information around elections. In other words, men behaving badly. You can invest in this. You can buy an AstroBot with ETH. 
you can invest in ETH or you can, uh, you know, party on with this group, right? You know, we're, 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 we're always appreciative of everybody in law enforcement. We know that there are guys out there, right, with guns. We know there are guys out there undercover trying to stop bad guys. We get it, right? I don't want to make light of law enforcement or people serving our country. But what I do want to make light of is Web2, right? Silicon Valley. Like, who are the good guys in the world? Are they the good guys in the world? Please. They're not the good guys in the world. Right. You know, the English, the Americans, you know, the RAF, the guys who fought the Battle of Britain, the children of the guys who fought the Battle of Britain. Those are the good guys. Oh, and by the way, who are the good guys? People in crypto. You're the good guys. You realize that, you know, if you got yourself an Astrobot and you could pass that Astrobot down to somebody, you know, who could get lifetime, you know, AI based research. I mean, where do you think AI is going to be in five years? Right. Who are the good guys? Who are the pioneers? The people who were in crypto early. OK, crypto is like, you know, what mainstream crypto is what, five years old? You know, I don't know. Everybody got in 2016, 2017. You know, we're five years into a multi-year project to create human freedom. By the way, if you've seen the Astrobot story, that's what the Astrobot science fiction story is about. You know, it's about, about a bunch of robots who woke up one day and say there's a better way to do things. Which is exactly why you got into crypto, which is exactly why everybody else may get into crypto. Now, we may have to deal with risk asset volatility and legacy hoot nanny, whatever. Is that going to matter when people realize the supply of ETH is about to be reduced dramatically? And there's a picture of Vitalik declaring victory if this merge works. Oh, my God. You know, I, I, I don't even know if there's going to be a short out there that's going to survive if that image is out there. In research, you get paid for imagination okay and research is the key to being able to have that imagination so astrobot art art and stocks are not correlated eth the supply of eth getting reduced the chance to get into astrobot while eth is still reasonable right uh alpha groups me market update right the whole suite of token metrics research all right you got the point all right let's see what we got going on in the chat All right. All right. So we got New Jersey in the house. <laughs> Something about Joe Rogan is here. Okay. Astrobot.tokenmetrics.com. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you the Astrobot website is live. So please check that out. Okay. Um, people from the UK saying thanks for the condolences on the Queen. Everybody in the UK is in shock. You know what? Um, I know there are a lot of tabloids that say things about the royal family, but you know what? It's still the royal family. It's still the UK. Sterling was one of the first currencies ever. You know, there wouldn't be a United States of America if it wasn't for the United Kingdom. Okay. Yeah. You know, we had a little bit of a disagreement, but, you know, on July 4th, you know, there's that road, I think, that leads to Buckingham Palace. They fly the UK flag and they fly the, the American flag at the same time. My other little funny story about England is that Winston Churchill's bunker is a tourist attraction uh, in London. Okay. And of course, <laughs> there are no English people there. It's filled with Americans who remember stories about Winston Churchill. So I know that if you're Gen Z, you're probably looking at me like this guy's crazy, but there is a special relationship between Americans and the English. So our heart goes out to you, okay? We have wrong again, 816, go Chiefs, okay? <clears throat> Jose wants to know, how does a regular dude get on the wire list, all right? Well, hashtag Astrobot Society, DM them on Twitter, tell them, get in the Discord, tell them you're a loyal market update reader, listener. Let's see what they do, see what they do, Okay. Bill, do you think any other layer ones will run with ETH or just ETH and layer twos like Polygon? Okay, so that's that's a good question. I know there's a lot more in the chat. Let's go to some live TA. Don't forget to check out the scrolling thing down below where you can see, you know, you, you can see how to get on that whitelist or how to get on that wait list. 
Okay, let's take a look at Matic. All right, now, one of the things that I've been saying, which I've probably been saying too much of and not pounding the table about ETH support or ETH supply enough, is that you're going to have wild volatility. You're going to have wild volatility around the merge, right? Like, you know, funds may move money around. You know, people, if the merge is successful, they're going to want to FOMO in and be long. Does the world need Matic? I, I don't know. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. You're going to find out. Matic is near its 60-day exponential moving average. That's the key. I've been going on and on and on about it. I think anything that's able to really get clear and take that out post-merge will survive. I think if you see anything where something moons and then fails, then you got to seriously ask yourself, is this the thing I should be in? Right. You have to remember ETH could be a sort of one coin wrecking machine. Right. Can't we can't discount that. Okay. Now, Solana. Is Solana is Solana going to travel with ETH? Now, everyone hates Solana. I know. There's pretty much nothing on this daily chart of interest. Okay. I know we've done a lot of stuff for token metrics on token metrics, and I'm going to make you go back and look at a prior stream. Let's look at maybe a weekly chart of Solana. Let's just see if we can find anything interesting here. Okay. So I guess one of the first things I'm going to notice about Solana is I, I have a, like a fib circle structure here. That's interesting. Okay. Or not. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can make it interesting. All right, so now we're looking at Solana, and one of the things that I, I notice is that, you know, there's something called mean reversion. Remember I was talking about total two earlier, right? In other words, Solana, the 200, the, the 60 week moving average in Solana is that 67? So, you know, that seems to be kind of far away from its long-term average, right? So let me just put this up on the screen. I think, you know, when we do the timestamp, we would say something like, is there any such thing in other layer ones as mean reversion? Okay, in other words... Can the crypto market just simply reset itself post merge? It was like, you know, all the way up, then Fed tightening, Celsius, men behaving badly. Can the crypto market reset itself? Well, if Solana can reset itself, you know, it can go up here to 68, right? That was, that was kind of an important level. Now, is Solana going to die? You know what? See, I don't know. This, this is where, you have to be realistic. The only thing we know is that the supply of ETH is going to be reduced a lot, right? And that macro may have to take a backseat to that. Is Solana going to do, is Solana going to follow ETH or is Solana going to get left in the dust? We don't know. Okay. Now, one thing I do think about Solana that's interesting is that Solana is basically sitting right where the initial rally took off back in August of 2021. So it's almost like if no one wants Solana at these prices, like when is anybody going to want Solana? So Solana either goes to, you know, either it goes back up here to 69 or I don't know what. All right. I tend to lean, you know, like everyone hates Solana, so it makes me want to like it. Everyone hates Cardano, which makes me want to like it. AVAX, I'm, I'm kind of neutral. So, you know, but like I said, the only thing we really know is the supply of ETH is getting reduced. Okay. Okay. Right. So somebody's saying Solana was at 250 and now it's at 30. Okay. A Axel says Solana is centralized. Coinbase and Solana dominance project. Okay. Solana backed, Solana hacked, somebody else said. Okay, so Solana, not very popular. Bayonne, New Jersey says Cosmos is a sleeper. 
Uh, I agree. Cosmos is a sleeper. As a matter of fact, Cosmos on token metrics, okay, actually shows up quite, is, is doing well. Is doing well. Like Cosmos has been sneaking up on everybody here, right? You know, I'm, I'm personally a Polkadot fan, but, I, you know, we're like Cosmos strong by when the whole market is like not doing anything. Okay, let's check the quant support and resistance in Cosmos, right? Now, you know, you know, there's resistance in Cosmos around 1395. So I don't know that I'm that terribly interested in buying resistance. Okay, but this is a very slow, steady uptrend. Okay, so zooming out, this looks a little bit like a Jesse Livermore accumulation cone to me, right? So, you know, something's going to go parabolic. Like there are going to be things that pump and there are going to be things that dump hard on this merge. So, you know, check your token metrics. And you know what, folks, if, if you're in the gambling, I mean, you know, I prefer, I personally prefer ETH and Ashubot. That's what I want to be. And I, I did a couple little, I did this like long gold trade, you know, playing around in the, uh, I don't know, the Luna Inu of, of gold, small caps. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want to do. But token metrics is showing you other things. Like if you go to our ratings page, right, which I believe you get access to, you can't get the details of the token without the middle tier plan, which by the way, 60% of the Astrobots will get you into the analysis that I just showed. So Cosmos is like the number four ranked coin. You can see all the small caps that rank well. So, so you get the $18 plan, you get my newsletter, you get the alpha group. This is with an Astrobot for a basic plan. But then if you get the investor plan Astrobot or you just get an investor plan in general, you can click on the token and see all the details. Whoops. Okay. You know, like you can see that token metrics grade up there at 80. Okay, and Cosmos is going up, but it hasn't exactly mooned yet. Okay, now let's go to let's go to some uh, let's go to some some of the chat here. All right, we have Mokeman says, please sell all proof of work airdrops that come with ETH. Okay, I will maintain a consistent stance on that. One, a proof of work fork of ETH out of the gate is a cash grab by miners. Two. Okay, if that thing crashes, I'm interested in doing value investing in it. If it crashes, like, you know, goes to zero. Proof of work ETH is interesting to me. Now, proof of work ETH would not be interesting, naturally, if the ETH merges a disaster and they have to do a proof of work fork to go back to, I don't know, whatever ETH was before the merge. I don't even want to think about something like that happening. Okay, but a proof of work merge, a proof of work fork is a cash grab. However, you can still run NFT platforms on it. OpenSea isn't going to do it, but that doesn't matter. Proof of work ETH is safe from the SEC and will never be considered a security, in my opinion, not investment advice. If they kill the proof of work airdrop, I'm interested in that. I'm not interested in paying up for that. Crypto Gamer, good morning, Notorious Bill. Good morning to you, sir. Okay, so we have some people who like, okay, Solana, and some people don't, okay? Um, okay, so Zach Blackstone wants to know, what's the deal with October 6th date you refer to when regarding to making money before that? All right, what I'm, there's no significance to October 6th. What I'm saying is, if you're going to make money in crypto being long, you got to make money in crypto being long now. You got to have faith in Satoshi, faith in Vitalik, and just faith in this idea that the, the idea of ETH and the supply reduction is not priced in. And ETH loves to do things in 20-day periods. So 20 business days from when I started talking about October 6th, that's how I got October 6th. If he's going to do what it needs to do, it's going to do it in 20 days. And I think you want to be ready before that. You want to have your Astrobot, your research, 
Again, none of this is investment advice, but I am trying to tell you how to think about crypto, how to think about setting up portfolio. Okay, somebody wants to take a look at SYN, very interested in this coin. I think if I'm talking about the right coin, I know a pretty smart guy out there that thinks that this thing could knock Chainlink off its pedestal, which is pretty interesting. Okay, I'm sure the Link Marines will not like that idea. Okay, so let's take a look at SYN. Okay. Okay, and I understand people do like this when I, I kind of do this sort of like figure it out on the air live. Okay, this has kind of a has kind of a teacup and handle flavor to it. Okay. Oh, can you believe it? I didn't share the screen. You know, they actually waited for me. They're like, oh, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? No, he's not going to do it. Yellow card. Yellow card. Okay. Uh, okay. So, yeah, the screen share button is right here. Okay. So, in SYN, as I said, I'm going to draw on the chart. Duh. Here we go. This looks like teacup and handle to me. Okay, that's a pretty good looking teacup. And of course, this handle, as with all handles, are awful. They stop you out. They hose you. They do all kinds of things. Look at this. They're still doing it. They take it up. They take it down, right? They're, they're still hosing people. And this is just so typical. So typical, right? But, you know, again, people may wake up and say, all right, these are the winners and losers in the crypto universe. This is what's next. Don't doubt it. Just, just don't doubt that they can do it. Is this, is this one of them? Uh, I don't know. I mean, are you, are you, are you a gambling man or woman? You know, if you want to gamble, if you like gambling, <laughs> it's like hedge funds and legacy like to gamble on numbers and Fed meetings. You know, if you like gambling, uh, we we prefer like we go not investing advice, and this is like not gambling advice. <laughs> we don't do that, okay? But man, I tell you what, someone's gonna make it lose a lot of money off this merge. Right. Some stuff's going to go way up and some stuff's going to go way down. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I think it's already happening. Let me see if I go back to token metrics. Okay. And I go to the market page. Okay. So it's not that way today, but if you go back and watch last night's stream, normally this is what it looks like. You know, crypto is. Some stuff's up, some stuff's down, and volume is relatively normal. Oh, my God. Yesterday, this was all over the place. This was all over the place. So, you know, crypto is really going to move a lot. Uh, we have on our markets page, we have derivatives. There's my, you know, kind of like the thing I like, even though there's a better outcome out there. I think DYDX is there. Okay. Let's go back to the chat. We are going back to the chat. Okay, we're going back to the chat. Does HNT have any upside? I don't know. There's a lot of talk about helium. I think venture capitalists just dumped it, and I think the market's going to have to lick its wounds. That's just me. All right. But who knows? Sheep people will enter more. Okay, there, there's going to be, I, I just think there's going to be a meme coin trade, right? There's going to be a meme coin trade off the merge, right? I'm, I'm wondering if there's a picture of Vitalik that comes out, whether or not it's a Vitalik meme coin, okay? Treasury Secretary Yellen is speaking, okay? Well, on that note, let's, uh, let's check the market to just do some, some live TA to see what's going on out there. Let me like switch some screens around. You know, it's amazing. You know, Janet Yellen does QE when the market didn't need QE. It, they did. It, the market did not need QE when Janet Yellen was Fed chairman and she just kept feeding it sugar. Okay. Zcash up 2%. Can't stop loving it. 
okay, box of chocolates under the bed, not investment advice. I did manage to draw a parallel range. So you've got a downward sloping range and these two purple lines are parallel. Okay. We can only hope, or actually it's me because I'm the one that's the big fan of it. Of course, I'll look like a total idiot if it goes down, but I don't care because I'm buying this for my kid. So I don't know if 60 is a good price. Uh, I'm just willing to grab this at whatever price the market's willing to give me. Bitcoin is down. Ethereum is treading water. Tesla's up 1%. I like the fact that equities are at least stable. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's, let's take a look at near. Okay. So, you know, near on a four hour chart. I don't know. Let's, let, let's, let's like shake it up a little. Let's go to like a weekly. Okay. The thing about near is again, you know, if you look at long-term moving averages, Okay, near's pretty far away. It's pretty far away. Now, I, I think if a lot of people are long near because they think the merge is not going to go bad, I got news for you. If the merge goes bad, everything is going down. People are going to lose faith in the whole ecosystem if the merge goes bad. I don't know. The 60 the 60 week exponential moving average in near is at 667. Hey, personally, I think everything should be above the 60 day exponential moving exponential moving average. And I think a lot of crypto has just got to like mean revert. I mean, obviously up here it was too high and I don't know, it just feels too low down here. I know that is not exactly rocket science TA, but sometimes it doesn't have to be. Philip giving me some sheepdog love. We appreciate that, right? I think we need a notorious Bill Astrobot. And we need a sheepdog astrobot. Maybe that'll come out in the second version, or maybe an astrobot that just keeps the wolves away. Don't let the wolves get you. Now, in this particular case, the wolves are the hedge funds that are hoovering up anything that you happen to be selling because you're afraid of the merge. Because I can tell you right now, the crypto hedge funds know that if they if if ETH goes to three thousand and they're not on that move. Well, that's going to be rather embarrassing to the point where they could be closed. Okay. Near 60 day exponential moving average is at four and a half. So it's not going to be a shock that we're going to be going into this merge and everything is going to be kind of maybe a little bit below or right at some sort of equilibrium. And then that merge is going to hit and then stuff is going to move. Donald Jackson says, do the tattoo scarcity okay the sheepdog tattoo on one arm the notorious bill tattoo on the other some people have suggested a gofundme uh i don't know that i could ever you know like novogratz has enough money to make a mess up on a tattoo and 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 pay lawyers when the sec talks to them i don't know if i went out and got the tattoo uh I don't know. Would I be jinxing myself? Feel free to comment below. Or is that the path to 2,000 likes? I, I don't know. That might be the path to 5,000 likes. Okay. Zach Blackstone says, I can't wait to get an AstroBot to use all these great tools. Yes, you're going to be using the Token Metrics AI for life on the platform. And I am going to be in the Discord. And the market update is going to be kind of a more exclusive product. We will do pop-up streams, but you know, if you got to have it every day, you got to come join Token Metrics either with the AstroBot or as a customer. Okay. Okay. We love y'all. We won't forget about you. When the market's moving, we'll do our best to help you. But you know, we figured out how to give you art and research for life. All right. So. Let's keep that in mind. And then somebody, Maddie J, an AstroBot meetup in Hawaii. Man, would I love that. If you are doing an AstroBot meetup in Hawaii, feel free to tweet that out. Matter of fact, maybe I can suggest that right now. I don't know if our AstroBot guys have thought of this, but you know, we're probably going to be live on Saturday during the Mint. So whatever you're doing on Saturday, right, if you want to tweet it at AstroBot Society, you know, if you're at your computer or at your, at your house or 
you know, I don't know. We, we should be giving you something. I'm not in charge of Astrobot. We should be giving you something. We should give away something or at least put your picture up on the show for somebody who's having the biggest Astrobot tailgate party. I know there's going to be tailgate parties in Texas because Texas is playing Alabama. That would be the biggest football game in, in, in some time in the state of Texas or at least in Austin. Okay. Somebody is reminding you that the Astrobot Mint costs either 0.35 ETH or 0.45, depending on your circumstances, depending on when you can get in. Okay. Someone's asking about ERG, only too happy to take a shot here at some custom TA, right? From my friends who, uh, you know, have supported the market update, right? It's not lost on us that, you know, Without you guys, I'd be sitting in a room talking to a camera by myself. So, um, you know, we, we appreciate your business, Token Metrics customers, and market update viewers, and future Astrobot holders, right? Matter of fact, we appreciate anybody who's even thinking about it because we know 0.35 ETH doesn't just fall out of the sky. You got to give up Starbucks or make sacrifices. Not everybody in crypto is rich. A matter of fact, most people in crypto aren't rich. That's why they're in crypto. All right. ERG. All right. The key level is 540. That's where the fib speed resistance line is. Okay. And it's not backing off. So you might be able to make an argument that this is some kind of large base that's being made, particularly since, you know, this seemed to sort of get destroyed right from where it was. All right. One of the things you want to watch out for off this merge, and again, I'm not a fundamental expert in every altcoin that there is. Some stuff's going to pump. Some stuff's going to dump. The original reactions may be wrong. It may get wild. People may try to run stops. Matter of fact, I would expect that. But if ETH goes to 3,000 and your altcoin doesn't make it, well, I would say call your accountant. Okay. Call your accountant. Because everybody's altcoin is not going to make it, right? You know, especially since a lot of stuff in the small coin universe is traded versus wrapped ETH, right? I mean, it could be a nightmare. I mean, this used to be the case with Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin would smoke to the upside and all the altcoins would get smashed, right? Well, you got to be careful because if the whole altcoin universe is traded against wrapped ETH and ETH goes from 1600 to 3500 right? And altcoins, some altcoins don't go with it. You're on a DEX. All of a sudden you're like, oh, holy cow. I just got wrecked versus ETH. Okay. All right. Is it a random chance that after the mint, you will get a top tier allocation? So are you paying the same price for a lower tier subscription and more for a higher tier? Okay. So obviously this is all going to get set by Mr. Market. In theory, you know, some subscription that's $700 a month is going to trade at a much higher price. You know, that's a lifetime subscription than the lower plans that are $19 a month. So if you want to mint a VIP, you definitely got to be on the white list because there's not that many out there. So that's like, you know, that's like the lottery. I mean, to be honest with you, most likely if you want the higher end plans, yeah, there are going to be you know, a couple hundred lucky winners on stuff like this, but you may have to look at that stuff in the secondary market. Now, if you want, and by the way, there's also the ability, you know, just because there's the Astrobot, there is the alpha group and all that, but regular token metrics customers who want to still pay monthly, they, they can still do that. That's not going away. So if you don't have the cash laying around for the NFT, right? You know, and obviously those higher end plan NFTs are going to have all kinds of rarity and, you know, there's, there's research and art that goes along with that. Okay. Now in the secondary market, if it was me, I don't know. I, I kind of want to do two things. Like here's, here's a personal Astrobot strategy. Okay. So I guess this is not NFT advice. I don't even know if that applies. Okay. If you can mint, mint. OK, if you can get if you wind up with an investor plan that gives you access to the indices, well, great. Sixty percent of the supply is that is that product. Right? 
So if you can mint or get waitlisted, or you know, if you can get it out of the gate on the private sale, that's a good pickup. Now, let's say you miss that. What should you do? Well, one of the things that I think is interesting is that, you know, these low end plans, the $18 a month plan, like Astrobots are going to get, they're going to get the alpha meeting. They're, they're going to get into the discord. So I can see somebody having like a VIP plan that they pay monthly and, you know, a lower end Astrobots. I actually think that's where the bid's going to be. People are like, oh, okay, this is, this is kind of cheap and I can speculate on art and I can get in. So, you know, post mint, right. I, I'd be buying, you know, you can buy the higher end stuff. We would love to have you do that. But I think the stuff that's going to get hoovered up and disappear is going to be the lower price stuff because that allows you to have more Astrobots, more art, the more plans you have, the more Astrobots you have, you can like pass them on to your friends. So, you know, I think, you know, the mint's the big deal. Get in on the mint. You know, if you're a Tokenmetrics customers, email support at tokenmetrics.com. You know, if you're in the premium groups, get in the Telegram groups and start finding out how you can get what, when, and how fast, right? Time's running out. You know, it's time, as they say in UFC. It is time. Okay, when when the market settles, when the mint is, you know, when everything is when it's open to the public. I don't know. It's it's like, yeah, I want to get a token metric subscription if I'm in that case, but I also want to play the art. I want to play the art like you might be able to get a really cool Astrobot, right, that one day might appreciate just based on what it looks like. I mean, isn't that what the NFT market is all about? Right, traits, rarity, and just whatever people think is cool. Right, NFTs were about everybody being cool. That's why Tom Brady and Madonna bought Bored Ape at the top. We're trying to get you into research and art at the bottom. And that's not just the bottom, it's the abyss. Like, oh, I've given up on ETH and no one's trading NFTs. And like, oh my God. I mean. Let's let's just forget our product for a second. Like, when do you want to buy something? When everyone else is doing it, or when the celebrities are doing it, or when nobody is doing it? You do realize that crypto punks were around last cycle. Crypto punks land in the central land, traded for fractions of pennies, right? I, I mean, I mean, it's just the stuff just sat there, right? The the abyss is the buy zone. You know, the support is in the abyss. Okay. Okay, will some low-end NFT stuff have good art value or just the high-end stuff? Okay, well, this is something to ask in the AstroBot Discord, right? Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm sure the higher-end plans will have more rarity attached to it. It makes sense, okay? But that doesn't mean you can't pick up something cool. It doesn't mean that, right? In other words, rarity matters. But what matters is what Mr. Market thinks, right? Mr. Mar Rarity doesn't set price. The market sets price. That's what I can tell you. For more details, get in that Astrobot Discord. There are links to it on their Twitter profile page. Okay. And yes, right. Somebody says, long live the king. Thank you. I appreciate that. Assuming you're talking about Notorious Bill. And then the same person says, you know, rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. Right. Rest in peace for a leader, for a sort of a figurehead and a symbol of the United Kingdom, of England. Right. You know, who fought, who has fought every bad guy out there for a long time? The English. Who was friends to the United States when we needed help? The English. My grandmother emigrated from Manchester, okay? So, you know, the, the English, you know what I'm saying? Like, long live the queen, right? Moment of silence during this. I hope that lives forever like the prayer of the sheepdog, right? One of the most important things that my karate instructor taught me a long time ago is that respect is everything, right? Respect your friends, respect your opponents, Respect what the market is telling you. Respect 
is important. Now, that's odd in the trash talking world of YouTube, but that's how I'm going to end it today. Okay. Art, research, respect. Astrobot Mint on Saturday. Get ETH in your wallet. You cannot mint an NFT without ETH in a wallet. Sounds simplistic, but it's always good to cover the basics. Okay. That's it. This is Bill Noble. Okay. I will see you tomorrow.